great. So we are out here today. It is uh, what is today? April seventh, twenty twenty, and we are on the Tora. We are in the Norfolk Canyon here. Fishing for food today. Deep driving. We got a couple, couple of big choppers and a couple of black-bellied rosefish. I want to give a shout out here to uh, Realtree. They sent me some, some of these pants. Those are the, uh, the Realtree brand of. I'm fishing pants. Um, I like them. They're uh, they're waterproof on the outside, and uh, they got the velcro strap velcro straps and stuff there. And uh, they have like a they have like a like a microfiber liner on the inside of them, so they don't cook your legs. But uh, thanks to Realtree for sending me a couple pairs of those. Let's see what we got coming up here right now. I think it's gonna be another bluefish out here at 900 feet of water catching damn bluefish on the bottom, but we'll see. We are in the midst of the quarantine, We're social distancing currently. Those are the uh, new Shimano Beastmasters on Crowder Rods. I'm trying to, this spot should be some black bellied rosefish here. I'm going to catch some of those. Let's see what else we can get. This thing's being a real asshole. Oh yeah. We got a bluefish and two rosefish. All righty. Sling them on in here. Got them in the box. Dinner. I don't know what we have here. 38 meters. You go. Keep cranking. Looks like a big golden, maybe. Oh, that's a grouper, it's a big one. Spin him around over here, spin it around. Spin. Big old grouper. Look at that. There you go, lift him up in there. Check out that bad boy. There would be a big, probably a 40 pound wreckfish. 40 pounder. Turn him sideways. There you go. All right, beautiful fish. Oh yeah, that's eating. Alright, well we just caught a wreckfish on the last drop. Dropped it right back in the same spot again. Have something nice hooked up here. Another one coming out. That would be another wreckfish. Spot of those. Pretty work. That one's a lot smaller than the other one. That one there's a 20 pounder, but another grouper nonetheless. Hand cranking, hand cranking groupers at 900 feet.
drop down on the grouper rock. Need a little excitement? <laughs> What do you think you're about halfway? Hell yeah, brother. I got this whole thing on film. Oh, Jesus. Alright, he's ready to gaff. Wham fucking bam. How do you like oh. that? Holy shit. That's a big one too, buddy. Whole <laughs> hell. <laughs> fucking solid. Woo. There you go. Hand crack. Fucking booyah. Woo. Killer, brother. Big one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, we are starting to finish up here for the day. Doing a couple of last drops before we go ahead and head home. As you can see, it's been a beautiful day out here today. It's been kind of weird. Uh, with the fishing conditions for us um, it's uh, the water is really cold I don't think I've seen 50 degrees on the water temperature all day which is unusual um, and uh, we haven't had any tile fish not a single golden tile fish not even a blue line tile fish We've had quite a few dog fish lots of groupers. I caught more groupers today than what I've caught in a couple of years. Uh, I think we probably let go a half dozen groupers and we got a box full of nice ones here. So this is what we got here. We got uh, a couple of nice, nice groupers in there. We've got Maybe a 15 or so bluefish, 15 or so rosefish, a bunch of damn dogfish, and uh, let go of some groupers. And uh, just wrapping it up. There he is, hooked up. No, oh, missed him. Anyways, y'all have a good one. Uh, there, you got him. He's on there.